Hi, I'm Kurt Wanabo, San Diego Real Estate and Investments and Short Sale in San Diego.com. One of the questions I've been getting a lot in my consultations lately is what about the government lawsuit settlement with the banks and what is that and what does it mean? Well, I'd like to just talk about it here very briefly. First, it was, a, it was a newly announced in February, and what this was was a lawsuit settlement between the Justice Department, HUD, and 49 states and their district attorneys, excluding Oklahoma. What they did in this lawsuit, or this settlement, is they set aside $26 billion from five of the largest banks for people who are underwater or have been foreclosed upon. These five banks or servicers are Bank of America, Chase, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, and Ally, or GMAC. Now, people are asking, what's going to happen with this money? Where is it going to go? For the time being, they have basically $17 billion will go to people who are underwater and behind on payments in the hopes of, re of reducing their principal reductions. Now, uh, this would result in about a $17,000 per household in principal reduction for the over 1 million homeowners that are upside down and struggling to make payments. Another $3 billion will go to people who uh, want to refinance their home to lower interest rates. People who are upside down um, but have high interest rates want to do a traditional refinance. A lot of that money is going to go towards subsidizing being able to buy down those rates. Another $1.5 billion will go to people who have already lost their homes and been foreclosed upon in the form of a $2,000 check settlement. And then lastly, the la there's about $5 million in fines and fees that the banks are going to have to pay for. Now, there are talks to expand this settlement to about $30 billion, and which may include nine other banks, but we are waiting to hear on this news. So what does this mean for people in San Diego? First, you have to understand that the money is finite, meaning it will run out. And a lot of people in San Diego are much further un uh, underwater than the $17,000 that most analysts have predicted that this would allocate to all of the people out there in distress. But I, will be able to, I would be willing to talk with you a little bit further about how it may affect you or your particular situation if you want to set up a consultation. I can also help instruct you on how to go to the bank and ask your bank to find out if you are eligible for any of these programs. But it's something I just wanted to address and go over and highlight some of the bullet points for people who, again, are asking me quite frequently about this lawsuit settlement. Again, Kurt Wanabo, San Diego Real Estate and Investments. Thank you for watching this video.